I posted a picture of an abstract design I did on a client the other day on Instagram. You guys loved it. So I thought I would try a Halloween abstract nail. It's actually very simple, doesn't take long. Let's get started. So abstract is something I really have to think about because I'm a rather symmetrical person. Everything I do is kind of symmetrical. But this, we're going to have a little fun. I'm actually looking forward. This is Halloween coming. I'm excited about Halloween. Are you, cameraman? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't care much for it, but I love it because I'm a mom and I always help the kids get a costume. And now I'm answering the door for all the little kids. My kids have grown and gone now. And Grant was over the other night and we were talking about Halloween costumes. And he had a really good idea for me this year. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. <laughs> See if you can guess. <laughs> okay, so I've got purple, orange, black, and I'm working in gel polish. You can do this with paint as well, as in like paint, actual paint, nail polish, paint, like acrylic paint. But I've got four colors I'm going to work with and gold for a little of that, you know, kind of a classy touch. This will be an abstract. You could find a nice high-end art gallery. <laughs> With a touch of gold, we'll give it that little bit of personality, a little bit of class. Okay, so I'm just going to line them all up here in my ceramic tray. And I've got a nice fresh set of nails. I have put a coat of clear on here. It's a short set of nails. These are acrylic, but they're just very short. They're very cute and quite square. I did put a coat of clear gel polish on top of them just in case I wanted to remove it. It was an easy removal and the gel wouldn't absorb into the buffed acrylic. I don't really want it to grab on that hard onto it because I might want to take it off. So I'm just preparing myself for anything I don't like. So I'm going to get my little shiny thing that I made all dirty from one design. Remember that design? I made a mess of this thing. Okay. Now what makes this Halloween abstract is simply because I'm using Halloween colors. If I was using any other color, it wouldn't be so Halloween. My client Emily showed me a beautiful design on Instagram, which is my inspiration for this Halloween design. Because this is Halloween, I'm not, I'm gonna be a little bit frayed a little. Does it make sense? I'm not gonna make them like solid lines. Not that abstract has to be, but I think of it that way. I'm gonna leave some of them just sort of frayed a little because it's Halloween. So I'm trying to create that kind of unsettled look. I'm going to do all my blacks first. And like I say, if anything I don't like, you can always take it away because I'm on that nice finished surface. I'll just do a little one. I'm gonna save my thumb for maybe getting a little jiggy. Maybe look like it's kind of scraping. So we'll save that, save that one. Okay, so I think I kind of like that. I think I'll make the black on the pinky be a little more squared. I don't know why. I just kind of feel like I want to. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason for any of this. Just whatever feels right. Okay, so I am going to move these because I'm going to nuke this. I'm going to just give it a good nuke. And I'm only nuking in between because I'm only curing in between because I'm, I think I like the black the way it is. So if I put other colors on top of it, it might kind of blend together, which might look kind of cool, but I think I want to keep the black the way it is. So you probably could do a flash cure too, but I'll do, if you're going to do a full cure, it's about 30 seconds. Okay, now let's see what we can do with the purple. Maybe the orange, let's bring some orange in there. So this way I can, now that the black is cured, I can do a little bit on top too. So I don't know what that is, I don't know what it looks like, but maybe just a, streak down there. 
looks a little unsettled. Almost like dripping. I guess for Halloween that is kind of fitting. Again, I have no real rhyme or reason. I'm just doing what kind of feels good. Oh, a little hair in there. That looks kind of neat. I kind of like that. In fact, I might add it again because I kind of... Yeah. It's kind of cute. Okay, I'll just give it a little flash here. So I'll just cover my little... I think it's too far to actually hear that gel being a little paranoid. Okay. Now the black, I think I need to put some purple on the black. I kind of like the black drips, or the, the drips in general. You do? I'd wear that for sure. You would wear that? Yeah, yeah. It's great. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm just flash carrying in there. I don't know. I feel like it needs more brightness. I'm going to bring in some more purple. And maybe... Maybe a little sideways. So maybe I'm just... This is awkward, but I'm just going to... Feel like and that's the thing I mean I can get carried away because well because it's not really my forte doing <laughs> abstract but it's really cool okay, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit just feel like I need some sideways motion on this because I don't have anything like that so maybe I'll bring this up here bring it right over top of the black a little bit I do like, but I feel like there should be purple up in here. So I'm just going to put a little. Oh, kind of like that. Maybe I'll put a little purple in here. Oh. a little nuke. I mean, the designs are endless on this. You could do anything. Okay. I am just going to add some orange. Uh, no, gold. I'm sorry. Not sure how or where or why. <laughs> okay. So the gold is just sort of um, adding a little shimmer to it. Just like a highlight. I need a little sideways motion over here. And maybe on the ring finger. Okay. I'm going to nuke it. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave that just like that. It's really nice. You like it. Oh, I really do. Yeah, absolutely. I think Grant would like it too. <laughs> he might. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is top coat it, but I got to think of what I was going to do for the thumb. Remember we were going to get a little cheeky. Okay. I want, I want to bring this back because we want to do the thumb. So make it kind of look like it was like scratching at the door. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so if we do that, it's going to look something like this. That might be just too scrapey would be this finger here. Little, little 
creepy. Tribal. Okay. It's Hoobal. Tribal. I kind of like it just like that, but we have to make it abstract, so try to figure out how to do that. flash care to hold that into place. Now, if you do a flash care and you decide you don't like that, yes, you are kind of stuck with it because it's cured in, but you can just file it off. You won't be able to do it in layers. You'll have to file the whole design off and start again. So you really want to be sure. Okay, so I'm just going to try to add a little. I'll just do a little gold in here. And then maybe, I didn't do really any dots. So, oh, I did do a few. I'm just gonna do maybe one, two, three. Just to get a little abstracty. Okay, so now I'm just gonna top coat them all. I'm just gonna give it just a nice top coat to seal that right in. Check out the reveal shots, my abstract Halloween. <laughs> Very different with just a change of color being Halloween than my Instagram pictures. They're so cute. I really like them. They look really good on short nails. You guys have a suggestion of what you think Grant said I should be for Halloween. Comment below. I'd love to see what you think I should be or what you guessed Grant said I should be. Anyway, thanks for watching my video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.